Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. Well, to maximize the quality of our application, we should make sure that the tests are green, right? Either being unit or end to end tests. And we do not have lint errors. And of course, we do not have compilation errors. How can we be sure that all of these are succeeded? Well, we can run all the tests manually before we commit our changes. We can run the linters before we commit our changes, and so on and so forth. Or we can get the power of a CI system, continuous integration. And in this video, we will see how to set up a GitLab CI for our Angular application. So, let's get started. This is what we are going to set up. We are going to create two different stages. The first stage is the setup, and the other stage is the test. And each stage will have different jobs. The setup stage will have the job install and the test stage will have the unit test job. This is the environment of GitLab and this is how the CI looks like. We will start very basic and we will create just two different jobs. For the purpose of this video, we will use a basic Angular application with the default app component HTML and also with the default unit tests. So how can we start? So I would like to mention here that I use GitHub as a repository. And in addition, I have set up GitLab as a CI. This is not very hard to achieve. The only thing that you have to do is to go to GitLab, create your account and connect the GitHub with the GitLab. It's a very straightforward process. And the only thing that you have to do is, is to follow the steps. So let's start step by step and try to create this representation. I will go to VS Code and to make sure of GitLab CI, what we have to do is to create a file into our application and the name should be .gitlab-ci.yml. The GitLab CI runs in a container and the container requires an image. So let's go and find which image we're going to use. We have to go to hubdocker.com and I will search for node. And here I will click the tags. And let's search for the LTS version of node. And this is the 16.14, right? So 16.14.2. And let's go with this one, with bullseye. I will copy this. And now I will go to GitLab CI and I will be like, the container, I would like to run this image. And also, previously we said that we're going to have two different stages. The first one is going to be set up and the other one will be the test. So let's define the stages here as well. The first one will be set up and the other one will be test. Now let's start with the basics. Let's go and define this job, install job for the setup stage. I will simply type here install and I will link this job with the stage setup. Here we have an error and it says that missing property script, of course. We need to create a script here so that we know what kind of script to run. And the question here is how can we install by simply type npmci? So this is the very first step. So I will do the following. I will commit the changes now and see what is happening in the GitLab CI side. So now let's go to the browser to see what we have. On the left side, we can see that we have here the CI, CD and the pipelines. Let's click the pipelines. And this is the running process, the GitLab install job. The changes that we have just did. And here we can see the status, which is running. And the pipeline, we see the commit message. And also the pipeline ID, the branch name, and the commit ID. If we click now this one, the, the running, we can see that we have created one stage. And this is the setup. And we have one job. And the name is install. If we click, we can see all the details. So let's now continue with the other step, which is the test. Similarly, I will create here the unit test and for the stage, I will use the test. 
and we also need to have a script. So let's create here the script. And the question now is, how can we run the tests? By typing npm run test, right? We should take into consideration that these jobs run in different processes, which means that this job has nothing to do with this one. The node modules that exist in this process do not exist in this process. So what we have to do is to simply rerun the npm CI. So let's have a look at something. If I run the test in the local terminal, we will see that we have total three success, which is nice. And also we have here, based on Karma, we have the browser. And guess what? In CI, we cannot use the browser. And not only this, if I try to close this browser, this will open again. And this is it. So the first thing is to use the option no watch, which means that run it once and not set up the watchers. And the other option is to use here the browsers and we have to define a headless browser, a browser which will run only into our terminal. But wait a minute, is Karma aware of this headless browser? No. So we have to configure this. So let's go to the Karma conf and here into the browsers array, I will define the Chrome headless CI. And we also have to define some custom launchers specifically for the Chrome headless CI. So let's do this. So custom launchers for this one. And these are the options that we need to have. Custom launchers for Chrome Headless CI, which is this browser. And I want to have this base and this flag without the sandbox. Let's copy this and go back to GitLab CI and use this option here. But again, wait a minute. We'll use here this image, which is a node with this kind of version. And the question is, do you have the Chrome browser installed in this image? No. So we have to install the image as well. We will use the before script to define some scripts that will run before the actual one. We will run the apt-get update. We will download the Google Chrome stable using the wget. We will install this package. And then we will create this environmental variable Chrome bean and we will define the path where the Google Chrome lives. And by having this script, we will be able to run the tests into the CI. So let's give it a try. The previous job, it seems that went well. And now let's click again on the pipelines and see what we have. What we can see here is that we have a running pipeline and we have two different jobs, the install and unit tests. Please note that the jobs respect this order. To run the unit test, this one should be done. The install step is done, so the unit test now is running. Let's click and see the details. As you can see, it says that it's using Docker Executor with image what we have defined in the GitLab CI. And here we can see that we have the npm run test with no watch option, and we have defined the Chrome Headless CI as our preferred browser. And here are the reports and we have everything green and we have total three success and job succeeded. So now if we go back, we will see that we have the install green, the test green, and we can move on and create different steps as well, whatever we prefer. And in most of the cases, the final step is the deploy one. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.